So we had noticed that the students had sometimes some problem in communicating their ideas, not um, necessarily in terms of they were not literate in talking, but rather they spent too much time for one single idea. And what we wanted to do is to make sure that they could be very sharp on one idea or one concept and to get the very right words right away. What we did is uh, we borrow it, or I borrow it from the speed dating that happens like wherever in the world. So basically it's a small exercise where the students have only one minute to present their main concept to another student and they have to do that three times in a row. So what happens is with the first students usually, they do talk a bit in length and they try to craft their words and to have it like very well, uh, like as much detail as they want to make sure that it's really representing their idea. But then what happens after one minute, the student has to say, I like it, I don't like it, or end, I get it, I didn't get it. And because of this immediate feedback, then the student gets something that they will try to improve for the second student, for the second. Uh, and then when they start with the second one, they don't do anymore the crafty sentences and so on, but they go straight to the point, or they try to go straight to the point, not only because they know that they are stressed by the time, and they are a bit, a bit more real at this time, but secondly, because also they have a bit adjusted their discourse to the body language of the one in front of them, and because they want to have a like, and yes, I got your concept. And then with the third um, students, usually it's more on an automatic mode, so they know automatically what they have to say, how they have to say it, so that they pinpoint right away the concept in the brain of the other, and then they got good feedback. So this was the type of uh, exercise we did. So that was very good in the sense that the student, they got automatism, and it's a small exercise that they can rehearse at home, with whoever, I always tell them, uh, go to see the person th that you like the least in the class, because for sure this person won't have any positive, you know, a priori or attitude towards you, so it's a very good way to test, but go to see your parents, whoever is not aware of your discipline, and then if they don't get it, it means there is a problem with your concept. So that was one good, very good outcome for the student because they, they could get that at home and, and test it. And the second thing also is that it helps them to be more focused on what they have to say and to hierarchize their thinking. The main advice will be that first, you need to be sure that the student has a proper concept or main idea to talk about. Because if that is not the case, for sure the student will be facing dislike, dislike, dislike three times. And people will say, I didn't get your concept, and that is not very productive in terms of self-pride. Uh, this is good in the sense that then you can evidence with the student, show him or her that there was a problem in your initial concept, basically it was not one, but this type of exercise is still to value them a bit, so it's why if you use a kiss, 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 you know, technique, um, the students should still feel that they benefited from it. So. My tip would be make sure as a course convener or tutor that you have discussed the concept with the student first before they start the speed dating exercise.